Hey YouTubers, this isn't exactly going to be an easy video for me to do, but I, for those around me, here in my neighborhood and people who know me, a lot of my subscribers, I don't get a lot of video views, but most of my subscribers are subscribed to me for some of the videos that I watch and then I add to my favorites or the playlist that I create. And a lot of them have messaged me and especially those who know me was really curious as to why my opinions changed about Christmas. Well, first of all, it wasn't a overnight thing, but I will admit that this whole year was a decision making process because at least five, six, maybe even seven years ago, the Lord God began to reveal things to me that was going on in our society. And I know I'm not speaking for just myself here. I mean, I'm sure all of you will admit that the Lord has shown us all a lot within the last five or six years about the new world order and things they have done, the false history, um, things that they have done where if it hadn't been for the Lord leading us and guiding us into this information, we would never be aware of a lot of the things that they are doing and even aware of them. But I would like to consider myself a Berean. I can't say that I'm a good Berean because sometimes I get a little lazy. But I had to come to grips with a, a good Berean doesn't just study out the scripture. Yes, they search the scripture day and night to prove something. But there is such a thing as truth. Yes, God's word is truth. The word of God is truth. But truth exists, okay? The truth about something is the truth. You know, you can't, if, if you know something's the truth, you can't, You can't just pretend like it's not there. You can't. We need, as good Bereans, well, I feel like, you know, if I wasn't supposed to accept the revealing of things that the Lord has shown me that's going on in my society, if I wasn't supposed to accept those truths, then he would never have revealed those truths to me. Truths that are basically in his word, but never shown me those truths in society. But as a Berean, like I said, I'm not going to call myself a good Berean because, especially here lately, I've been a bit lazy because I'm trying to avoid all of the the knowledge and the information that the Lord has has shown me throughout the years because it puts me in a state but I did realize today that it, if I listen to those things it does make me get on my knees and pray because of the pain and the sorrow and the, the heaviness that it makes me feel when I have it in my face all the time. It does 
push me to get on my knees and pray about it harder. So I'm going to have to deal with that too. But I, like I said, I was asked what made me change. And well, like I said, the whole year I've been dealing with it. Okay. And I think my final decision came before I ran into a few verses that never really stood out to me before. And, and, and I really can't explain that to you, but I can demonstrate it. Say this is an obelisk. Okay, say this is an obelisk. Okay, I know the truth about the obelisk. Okay, now, today I heard a message. I really don't remember who did the message, but it just kind of like, really, I don't know, it kind of, went the wrong way <laughs> in my spirit, man, because these things had just, you know, throughout this year been being revealed to me as far as making my decision on the matter. But, but anyway, the subject of, you know, uh, tennis shoes, computer, let me tell you something. A tennis shoe was not used in the worship of other gods. The computer was not used in the worship of other gods. A lot of things that we have that you can use for good or evil, the symbols, a lot of things that are out there today, they weren't used in the worship of other gods. But to make a long story short, I regularly watch a lot of people. Well, most of the time, sometimes I take a break when the Lord deals with my heart to take a break and he wants to speak to me. Well, he explained it to me like this. I had this knowledge. The Lord had revealed to me the truth of the Christmas tree, where it originated from. He revealed the truth to me uh, where, as a being a good Burian, when the subject came up of whether we should be celebrating Christmas or not, as a good Burian, I searched it out. You know, I searched it out for years. Like I said, I'm not a spring chicken when it comes to the fallen angels, the the UFOs, the the New World Order, the Illuminati, the Masons, um, Knights Templars. I could go on and on and on because this is an area where the Lord has been showing me things for years. I have not yet at this point been blessed with the words that come out of my mouth. But to make a long story short, this is how he revealed it to me about Christmas. I know the truth about the obelisk. This is going to be a representation of an obelisk. Now, knowing the truth about an obelisk that is used in the worship of other gods. Here's the question. Am I going to bring this in? And this is exactly how he showed it to me. I was watching a video and this person had a pagan I don't know, I can't sit it here close enough. So I will sit it, say like this is a little stand sitting here beside of me. I was watching a video. And this person had 
something beside them that was used was an an idol that was used in pagan sacrifice or pagan the worship of, of other gods and as I listened to them witness my attention kept being drawn to this image and this person I mean this there was so much pagan idols in that place that I couldn't even focus because I knew the truth. See, you know, no, as Christians, when we know the truth about something, we know there's no difference. All of a sudden, there was no difference to me in a obelisk right beside this person than the Christmas tree. My eyes, all my eyes seen was a pagan idol. Okay? and Because basically that's what they are. Pagan idols are things that are used in the worship of other gods. And it really affected what I thought because I know the truth about how Christmas originated. I know the truth of where the bells of balls of holly originated. I have the understanding of how and why the church uh, I mean Christmas was even outlawed Christmas was even outlawed because of its pagan origins in certain places you know to know the truth about these things and then you know that that day that all of a sudden the Christmas tree was appearing to me as a hypothetically speaking an obelisk because there was no difference and, and that's what the Lord was trying to tell me I mean he wasn't putting that person down but that's exactly what he was trying to tell me and not only was he trying to tell me something that tell me that there was no difference in them trying to worship him not worshiping the Christmas tree they they really didn't even worship the Christmas tree okay they just used it in their worship of other gods okay I'm not saying and and neither are a lot of the people that have made this decision but the Lord asked me what's the difference between having bringing a obelisk and setting it up in my house than setting up a Christmas tree because there's no difference in the two both are used in pagan worship of other gods there's no difference there's no difference now I have to argue with the person who said um, about the computer um, the tennis shoe all that we're talking about things that were used and forced on us I mean there was no celebration of Christmas of Christmas Jesus told us what to celebrate or Jesus told us to remember the communion to the breaking of the bread and and the, the drinking of the wine that represents his blood and to keep the Passover and of course the Ten Commandments okay uh, so what I want to do is 
read a few verses for you here in Leviticus 18.30. Here it says, Verse 30, therefore shall ye keep mine ordinances, that ye commit not any of these abominable customs which were committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord your God. Now, in To save time, I'm going to take you to Mark 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm going to use my other program, even though the small text is really hard on my eyes. Mark 7-7. Seven, seven. Sorry about that. <sighs> Howbeit in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. This is what Christmas has become. If you knew the truth about Christmas, you would know that as a Marian, it is your duty to learn where Christmas originated. It is your duty. See, and this is what gets me. I mean, you have these people that claim to be, and I mean, these are stickler people, and even people I respect that are Bible believing, Bible thumping people who claim to be good Bereans, who rather than study a matter out, refuse to study something out simply because it is something that appeals to them and that they want to hang on to. Trust me, I wanted to hang on to Christmas too. I wanted to hang on to Christmas too, but once I knew the truth about the matter, I couldn't. I had no excuse for my sin because I knew the truth. When you, the, when, the truth shall set you free. Okay, and, and not only when I had opened my eyes and I totally seen the truth. You know, I watched this one video here recently which I got a few of these verses from. And I'm going to go to, let me go to Deuteronomy 12. Three through four. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Ye shall not do so, un ye shall not do so unto the Lord your God. Let me go into verse eight. Ye Okay, you shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, even every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. And, and what he's saying there, it's like, it's, it's like what he's saying there, like, like, like I was saying about Christmas and 
this 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 guy was so right everything he was saying is everything that the lord was dealing with my heart because i kept saying well that's not what it means to me that's that's not what i'm doing and it wasn't about what i was You shall not do after all the things that we do here this day. Every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. It, 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 it to me, it was right in my own eyes because I had I was saying like, well, that's not what it is to me. That's not what it is to me. And at that point, you know, I I hadn't really felt like he had directly directly told me not to do this. So to put a clencher. On everything let me go to 29 29 through 32 and here it says when the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations Wait a minute do I need Deuteronomy yeah when the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee whither thou goest to possess them, and thou su succeedest them, and dwellest in their land, take heed to thyself, that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, how did these nations serve their gods? See, if you know the truth about Christmas, if you know the truth about the tree, if you know the truth about the bells of holly, if you know the truth about the, the, the oil lamp in the window, if you know the truth about the mistletoe, if you know the truth about every single item that we as a people were using at Christmas time, you if you know the truth and you seek those things out, you will see that this is exactly what he's saying. When the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whether thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their land, take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by, the fo by, by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. See, God knew that they would eventually adopt the way, thanks to Constantine, adopt the pagan Images that were used in the worship of their their pagan gods. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord which he ha hateth have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. What things soever I command you, observe to do it, thou, thou shalt not add thereunto, nor diminish from it. Jesus did not, and nor did God, tell us to celebrate his birthday. He did not tell us to put a Christmas tree. He did not tell us to put a fir tree. Because that's what it is. It, and it was a symbol of fertility because it stayed green all year round. I mean, I if you're a good Berean, you will search these things out. And, it, you know, I'm sorry if you will not accept. There, There is no difference. You know, it's the very reason that Eve ate from the tree. She saw the fruits thereof that it was pleasant to her eye <coughs> and you know and, and, and it's the same thing with a lot of us with Christmas it's so beautiful the lights the trees the decorations and to this day even though I feel like I do they are gorgeous they're beautiful but even Satan masquerades 
as of as an angel of light. All I'm saying, and not only that, in 31, thou shalt not do so unto the, the Lord thy God for every abomination to the Lord, which he hath, which he hated, have they done unto their God, for even their sons and their daughters. They have burnt in the fire to their gods. What things soever I command you observe to do it, thou shalt not add there, thereto, nor diminish from it. Now, I want to go to faith. We are therefore now no longer under the law, but under grace. Okay. We're not talking about law here. We're talking about works. The works, our works, and the law are two different things. And we all know that Paul said, are we to, to do away with the law? Yea, but God forbid we are to uphold the law. Okay, and then later on it talks about faith without works is dead. Okay, yes, as children, you know, this this is where people get really messed up when it comes to rightly dividing the word of God. When when we're young and we understand all oh, we're saved by grace, and it really is a beautiful thing, and it's legit. But as we get older in the Lord, we come to understand that we do naturally. We, as Gentiles, do naturally the things that are contained in the law. Okay? And a scripture that is so easily overlooked. But as you grow, you want to become pleasing to the Lord. And It's just too easy for those who have matured in their faith and then want to fall back on that excuse. You know, just because the Lord is opening the eyes of some people about the truth of things that are in our society that we've been blinded to simply because we didn't have the knowledge of this deception I'm not saying that the birth of Jesus Christ is the deception the instituting it I mean I, I forget exactly what state or what place I think it was Massachusetts that Christmas was literally outlawed because of its pagan origins I mean go and go and do the research of, of Saturnalia and how wicked and evil it was and 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 do this research on when it came in to the Christian church and why it came in to the Christian church I mean this is how dumbed down they 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 dumbed us down I mean, because our parents and our grandparents was told all of these years, you know, that, oh, you know, when did any of them ever stop and say, well, I'm just going to find out, you know, you know, the origins of the Yule Log, the mistletoe, the Christmas lights, the Christmas tree, um, the balls of holly, the lamps in the window. I mean, just do the research. Be a good Berean. Be a good Berean. Now, if you, you know, like I said, this is why I, I'm just not going to do it anymore. Because I really do feel like I have no excuse for it. I have no excuse for it. I know where it originated from. I know what it represents. And if I'm going to celebrate, if I'm going to celebrate his birthday, it will be round about the time that he was actually born. But that puts us back on Halloween. See, uh, now, and here again, we have people who celebrate Christmas knowing their or its origins, but yet they won't celebrate, they don't celebrate Halloween. 
when it's more likely around about the time that Jesus was born. I'm not saying celebrate Halloween. I mean, I was convicted of that too. And even recently this year, just having a little pumpkin sitting in here. Although I have no problem with a fall festival. And like, I really don't have any problem with that because it is a joyous thing to bring in the crops and the hard work of it all being over and stuff. You know, I really don't have a problem with that. But really, what in all reality, it should be the wheat and the food harvests, you know, not the pumpkin, the gourds and all that deal. But yeah, that's why I, I kind of changed my mind about it because I feel like he revealed the truth to me and because I know the truth and I do believe that because it is truth. There's truth out there. The truth is that it's origins and almost every single thing, item represented by Christmas was used in pagan idolatry. Is pagan idolatry has to do with pagan idolatry. And like I said, I'm sorry, you know, if it offends anyone who who doesn't understand, I'm sorry, you know, again, let me, I'm saying, you know, I'm not going to bring an obelisk in my house to celebrate something holy. If I'm going to celebrate something, I'm not going to contaminate Oh, by the way, let me mention the scripture that really got the ball rolling for me. And that is, they don't mix the holy with the profane. And if you can't grasp that, you don't need to be condemning anybody else. I'm not condemning anybody for doing it. Or for celebrating it. Because I do understand that it takes God to open a person's eyes to make them see. And like I said, it requires you. And there's nothing wrong with you not coming into that understanding yet. And if you're meant to come into that understanding, the Lord will deal with your heart. He will start showing you these things. He will start revealing the truth to you about these things so it's basically why up till now I haven't done a video but people wanted to know why I changed my opinion about it because it was probably one of the biggest Christmas decorators that there was in my neighborhood and I through the years began to see more and more truth Historical, historical truth, not and even biblical truth pointing to that historical truth. Being a good, being a good Berean consists of more than just searching out the scriptures. It's searching out truth. Truth in our history can help us in the decisions that we make and I guess that's basically you know I love you guys and I'm not coming down on anybody for celebrating Christmas because like I said I've been coming into this truth for every bit of five to six years if not more but I really felt like this year for some reason the Lord really wanted me to make that final decision of what I was doing and really see what I was doing. So every day to me, I should be giving gifts to every day. I should want at least once a week have dinner with my family. Um, I guess that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I love you guys. My name is Holy Ghost. Talk to you next time.